Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Now we are moving into the next concept that is called a random variable. That means uh, you have a probability space, you started with the probability space and if you are defining a real valued function which maps omega to r such that if you find out the inverse image of any x in the real line, that inverse image between minus infinity to x belonging to f. If this condition is satisfied by any real valued function which maps from omega to r, then that is going to be call it as a random variable. That means, after you have a collection of possible outcomes, you, you are finding one sigma algebra, you can make a more than one sigma algebra over the omega. So, you have a one fixed sigma algebra, it could be a trivial one or the non trivial one and so on. So, you have a fixed f, after fixing the f, you have a probability measure and the probability measure is nothing to do with the random variable at all still you have a probability space and from the probability space you are defining a real valued function such that the inverse image is belonging to f that i can make out with the simple diagram this is the omega and from the omega you have created the f f means uh, it has the events and the events are nothing but the few possible outcomes. That means, uh, this possible outcomes you will end up with the one element and this possible outcomes you will end up with the another event and so on. So, like that uh, the different uh, few possible outcomes that is going to be one of the elements in the f. You have created uh, another real valued function that is x from omega to r. this is a real valued function and you take any point some x in the real line and if you find out what is the inverse image from minus infinity to till x, you collect what is the inverse image you got it under the mapping x from minus infinity to the closed interval x. You collect the all the possible outcomes that is going to give the value between minus infinity to closed interval x you collect such a possible outcomes. If you collect such a possible outcomes and that is going to be one of the elements in the f for different values of x, then the real valued function is going to be called it as a random variable. That means, once you know the f, if you create a real valued function, after checking that condition, you can conclude that real valued function is going to be a random variable. That means, if you have a some other f, there is a possibility some real valued function may not be the random variable. That means, uh, how you choose a f uh, that is going to play a role of uh, come to the conclusion the real valued function is going to be a random variable or not. If you take uh, f is going to be the largest one, the largest sigma algebra over f over omega, then any real valued function is going to be satisfy this property. Suppose you take uh, the sigma algebra over omega which is in between the trivial one and the largest one, then the few real valued function may be a random variable and the few other uh, real valued function may not be the random variable. So, in the usual uh, scenario whenever you see the random variable definition in many books, they use uh, real valued function is going to be a random variable just like that. That means, uh, they did they have taken the f is going to be the largest sigma algebra. So, whenever f is going to be the largest sigma algebra, then any real valued function is going to be a random variable. And going back to the 
the previous slide, this condition is going to be the if and only if condition is also. Suppose, you have a real valued function is going to be a random variable, then this condition will be satisfied and if this condition is satisfied, then that real valued function is going to be a random variable also. Now, we are moving into the next concept called a cumulative distribution function. So, the cumulative distribution function for the random variable x can be defined as a capital F suffix x is for the random variable x and the small x is the variable x that is going to be probability of x is less than or equal to small x and here the x lies between minus infinity to infinity. So, this is going to be call it as the CDF of the random variable x. So, the way I relate with the probability of x is less than or equal to x, this x, x is less than or less than or equal to x is nothing but you collect a few possible outcomes such that under the operation x of w that gives the value less than or equal to x for all w belonging to omega. That means, you collect a few possible outcomes w such that under the mapping x, x of w should give the value maximum x. So, that is less than or equal to therefore, this is nothing but a event and this event is belonging to the capital F. Therefore, the way you have taken the probability of x is less than or equal to x. Therefore, as the x moves from minus infinity to infinity, you are keep on including some more possible outcomes over the x. Therefore, the probability of x is less than or equal to x varies over the x, you are going to get a more probability values. Therefore, this f of x is going to satisfy few properties. So, if you see the properties of the f of x, this values is always lies between 0 to 1 for all x. Suppose, you take x is almost minus infinity, then that is it is going to be 0 and if it is towards the infinity, then it is going to be 1. That means, I make out a limit x tends to minus infinity, this is going to be 0 and the limit x tends to infinity, the f of x is going to be 1. The third property, the way we are keep on accumulating the possible outcomes and trying to find out the probability and that you make it as a f of x. Therefore, the f of x is a monotonically increasing function in x. That means, uh, over the x, uh, if you take uh, two values a x is less than or equal to y, then the f of x value will be less than or equal to f of f x y. That means, as uh, x is less than y, either it takes the same value or greater than value. Therefore, it is going to be a, in the way it is called a monotonically increasing function in x. The fourth one, it is going to be right continuous function in x. That means, uh, either it is going to be a continuous function, if it is not a continuous function, it is a right continuous. That means, uh, the left limit exists for any x as well as the right limit exists and either it is going to be a left limit is same as the right limit and value defined at that point or the left limit is different from the value defined at that point, which is equal to the right value. Therefore, the function is going to be call it as a right continuous. So, the CDF is going to be a continuous function or it is going to be a right continuous function. I can show few diagrams of the CDF as the x goes, the f of x will start from 0 and land up 1.
So, this is going to be a the f x continuous as well as it satisfies the condition of a minus infinity to infinity it is going to be 0 minus infinity it is 0 infinity it is 1 and it is a monotonically increasing and a continuous function and I can give the another example of a CDF. It start from 0 and it has a discontinuity. So, that means it has the it is it is a right continuous function and a monotonically increasing function and it has the countably infinite jumps or countably infinite discontinuity and it reaches at infinity 1. So, based on the way the C D F goes I can give one more example in which this is going to be continuous in sum, then it has the jumps that is also possible. So, the way the C D F is going to be a continuous function from minus infinity to infinity or the C D F is going to have a uh, countably finite jumps or countably infinite jumps or it has a both type, then you can classify the random variable as a discrete random variable, continuous random variable or mixed type random variable. So, the random variable is going to be call it as a discrete type random variable if the C D F is going to be a have a countably finite or countably infinite jumps in the C D F then it is called the discrete random variable. If any random variable has a C D F as the continuous function from minus infinity to infinity, then that random variable is called it as a continuous random variable. If any random variables C D F has both continuous between some interval and countably finite or countably infinite jumps in some interval, then that random variable is going to be called it as a mixed type random variable.